Hello everyone and welcome to my Light Saber tutorial for After Effects CS6. Start this tutorial, make sure After Effects CS6 is open and go ahead and drag and drop your movie into the project board. Our next step will be to drag and drop this into our composition box right here. Our next thing we'll be doing is going to Layer, New, Solid. Make sure this solid is a white one. Because the core of our lightsaber is always white. Toggle the eye off of it so we can see our footage. And now we will begin. First off, we will be. Bring, I'm going to bring this down here a little bit. For some reason, we're going to be doing screen magnification up to 200. No, not 100, 200. Okay, select the hand tool. You know, you can go around here without moving in on your composition box. To start off, we're going to be using the pen tool right here. It's It could be on any of these. Um, just make sure the pen tool is selected. Make a base. Make a top. Uh oh. One second. There we go. Make a base. And we're going to make a top to it. Go up, go up, go up. Da, da, top. Go back to this. Make it a pointed edge. You're going to be like, why a pointed edge? It's going to be pointy. And it needs to be rounded. Don't worry, whenever we feather this thing out, it's not going to be noticeable. It's, everyone's going to think that you spent an hour making sure that thing was perfectly round. It's awesome. Then just connect it. Oops, it's not connected. That wasn't the right move. Then you just connect them just like so, just like that. Awesome. Next step is to keyframe this. We're going to go and click white solid, select M M on our keypad, and then you're going to keyframe mask path, and you're actually going to go every frame. Um, say like this is pretend this is my next frame right here. You're actually going to take this thing. And you're going to do every individual thing, make sure it's completely perfect. We're going to have to zoom in some here. You're going to make sure this thing's perfect. You're going to go along this. If it blurs, go with the blur. It's going to look really nice. Just like this. Get a little bit of point. Make sure it fits the saber. Click the H tool. It will go to the hand, these, the selector. Uh oh. Sometimes I do that on a Mac. You know, it does this. Weird trying to do the right, right right click on it. Sometimes it thinks I want to do a right click and it's actually I want to do a left click. Anyway, so you're just gonna trace this. Okay, I just finished and um, so the end result looks. Just going to this quick round preview. As you can see, I have it tracking it. Go ahead and toggle the eye back on. You want to see how that baby looks. Looks like I did a pretty good job. You, just, you cannot see any of the color of your lightsaber. That means you're done. If you can see some color of your lightsaber, you need to go back and see which frame you can see it. And go ahead and cover it up. Because that means you didn't do the entire lightsaber. At this point, I don't think I can see any blue. It's not too noticeable. If on the 50th time you can finally see it, that means that people aren't going to see it until probably the 50th time. So, you know. You know, you just published it on YouTube. It's your 20th time to watch it, and you finally see a tiny bit of blue. Oh well, people, it's not too noticeable. So, anyways, to continue here, we are going to make another solid. So, a layer, new, solid, or a command while on a Mac. Make this a black solid. Click OK. OK. Go ahead and um, bring this to the bottom. And then get rid of this your movie clip. You're going to see just your lightsaber. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, Command D. Hold on, Command click D four times. Or if you're on a Windows, Edit, Duplicate. Uh oh, on my battery. Hurry up here. Okay, so I like doing this in multiples of. 20. 
is like 20 to the square root of 4. So, do mm. You're going to bring this to mask feathering. Oh, don't keep it. Double click on the first one to 20. 20 times 20. I'm going to go ahead and do mm on the second one. 20 times 20 is 40, so do 40. And then go to the next one, and then 20. No, it's just doubling it, my bad. It works just doubling it because I don't know what 20 times 40 is in my head. Anyway, so just do 80, um, 160. And then 320. But I would suggest don't do the last one 320 because see that's kind of blurred. You want your core to be solid. It's solid. The core bit's solid and then it's illuminating the light. So you only want like eight for the feathering. If you want it to be like a solid core, then the light's just glowing from it. That's how lightsabers should look. I get annoyed when people like thunder out their lightsabers to like 500 for the core. Just looks um, cheesy. Doesn't look right. So anyways, that's what the lightsaber looks like. Pretty sharp. It's pretty sharp. Anyways, we're just gonna take our clip, drag into a new composition. So here we are with our drawing. It's just back to the drawing board. Well, not really. We have this one here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our one with the um, saber. We're gonna drag it and drop it onto this. It's like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know how I told you to make I don't know if I did. If I did, make sure these two things are selected. Make sure those are selected. That's something that we're gonna have to do. Make sure those are selected. I'm gonna change this mode to screen. Very nice. It's pretty nice, you know, for me doing this super fast so I can get this thing down so my battery's running pretty low. Looks pretty nice. Now, to wrap this tutorial up, no one likes a white saber. Let's get let's have some fun, add some color to it. Let's go to effect, color balance. We're gonna click preserve luminosity to preserve the glowness of the saber. Let's do this thing purple. How about purple? So we're gonna highlight red or highlight blue. Red and blue make purple. You got yourself a purple. So that actually looks pretty nice. You know, nice purple saber. This way you want a red saber or an orange saber. Ooh, that looks very nice. Orange saber, awesome. That's pretty nice. Anyways, you know, just playing around with them. I think you could even bring shadow up on it. Makes it really. Ooh, that looks cool for like a color matic saber. You know, just play around with it. It's really fun if you just get into this and just make all different types of lightsabers. It's just, this is my favorite part is adding the color to it. It's just. There's the icing on the cake. It looks, ooh, how about that? It's like a sun. It looks like the inside of the sun. If it adds a mid-tone to it. Ooh, we're getting there. I mean, just have some fun with this. It's like what you get. It's like the reward at the end of all this work. Ooh, there we go. Now we're getting to a nice little red lightsaber. Anyway, so, yeah, have fun with this. It's really, um... Colors like the most my most favorite part in my savers is really cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun with this, and guess what? I'm making a movie called Reward Three. It's about um terrorist. This guy right here, I'm ranked. Me and my partner, we quit on him. We told him we're not gonna be terrorists anymore. He didn't. He didn't. He's not gonna take credit for an answer. He gets really mad. He killed me. But he made everyone believe that he killed me and he kept me hostage. I ended up getting away in the second one. Now in the third one, he's finally getting revenge on me. What's going to happen? I don't know. You're going to have to watch it. How about you go and click the link in the description. Watch a nice trailer for it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, for you, you don't know how to like to export this. You just go to Composition and click Add to Render Queue. Uh-oh, we don't have an audio whenever we finish rendering it. Click on the output mode and make sure audio is selected. And then you can change the file name. You know, then click render. And it'll render it up. It's like that.
I don't want to render this. It's just a tutorial. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, y'all all have a blessed day.